Hello everybody, I am Robert Jussardi, the creator of Blockchain Kingdoms. We turn video gaming into passive income and paid work. In this video, I'm going to talk about blockchain gaming and all the crazy things that are happening inside of blockchain gaming right now. It's ridiculous. NFTs have been taken off last couple of months. Uh, we have a new partner in the company. Uh, Engine has amazing things happening. Gala has amazing things happening. I have been looking into a new game called Alien Worlds and I'm also going to share uh, the market moves that I've been making uh, in the last couple of days. So this is a giant mega episode and I'm going to talk about a lot of things. First stop, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Do your own research and make your own decisions. First, some major blockchain kingdom news. Uh, that is our platform. Uh, our company is actually called Trusardi Studios and our platform is called Blockchain Kingdoms. Um, uh, we sometimes just call us Blockchain Kingdoms as a company, um, but uh, there may be a name change in the future. We don't know yet, kind of. It's, it's in conversations. Uh, but anyways, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was talking to one of our community members, uh, Josh Cantrell. I'll also goes by the name of Aired Hall in our Discord, and we realized that we were in alignment with uh, the uh, vision of Blockchain Kingdoms and turning video gaming into passive income and paid work. So he came on board uh, the company, Trusardi Studios, my company, as a partner. So since he's come on board as a partner, he, Josh has been crushing it. He is a CFO of a multi-million dollar uh, construction company. His skills and abilities have had a synergy with my skill and abilities, and he has produced some amazing results for the company just in the last couple of weeks. And we have some extremely exciting news to share about uh, some of those results he's produced in, in, you know, in the coming weeks. Uh, so on top of that, we also have our WeFunder coming uh, in just a couple of weeks. We don't, we're not gonna announce uh, an actual date just yet. And we're gonna announce a date for the WeFunder soon. With the WeFunder, you will actually have a chance to own a part of the company, uh, Tusardi Studios, which produces Blockchain Kingdoms. Okay, so we also have an AMA ask me anything coming uh, this Saturday, April 10th uh, at uh, 1 p.m. PST time to answer any questions that you may have about uh, our company, Trusardi Studios, Blockchain Kingdoms, a platform we're developing, and uh, the 5 versus 5 MOBA that uh, Blockchain Kingdoms is also developing. And the whole point of what we're doing is to essentially use these job tokens that allow you to share revenue while you earn cryptocurrency from Planar Games. And you can also then send these fleets out to other gamers and uh, you earn you share revenue with them as, as they play the game and earn the crypto. Uh, cool, so uh, moving on to Agala Games News. So uh, there's been a Mirandis uh, building price increase. Here is the uh, announcement here on the Gala Games Discord. And uh, essentially what they're doing is they're taking the size, so if it's a, it's a five by five and it's common, um, they're gonna multiply that by five for the, for the new price. They just launched the butcheries and of course they're completely sold out because look at this, almost everything on, this, on the uh, Gala Games uh, store is sold out. Um, but what it means is that right now the taverns and the barns are about $100 a piece and after this price change happens, which they haven't said when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen, um, all, these taverns and barns are going to 5x in price. So it's going to go from $100 to $500 according to that announcement and the way they've structured the prices. Um, apparently they accidentally priced the meat stands incorrectly according to the price structure. It's supposed to be uh, $175, but instead... Uh, they announced it as being 125 and they're selling it for 125 USD right now on the um, website. So it's a little weird. Um, but apparently what they're saying is that, yeah, those prices are going to increase according to this discord. And, uh, and that means basically a major price increase for almost everything. Uh, you know, the epic sizes will be at size. So if it's like a 20 by 20, um, then will be times by 15, which will definitely increase the size of, of even the epic items right now. I think they've made this change because uh, probably it's a multifaceted strategy on uh, the secondary market. Like, oh, OpenSea.io, you can go and you can buy the sold out items that are now being sold by players. And many of them have probably, you know, at least doubled or 5x. Some of them have almost 10x from their original value. 
or more in terms of the homesteads. Um, but I think this is part of a multi-level multi strategy where uh, there's also going to be new games uh, being announced soon, and some of them are going to have NFTs dropping on the Gala Game Store. Um, so I think they're, they're pricing it um, to kind of go with this larger strategy of what they may be pricing the future items. So I think the future items that they are going to be selling, um, like the land, may be increased from what we saw previously in Mirandis. I'm not sure, but we'll see. The uh, node earnings for uh, after the having have officially will be doubled. That vote did pass. There is a vote. Um, there are these uh, Gala Games has these nodes, if you're not familiar, and you can purchase them. And uh, th when you buy a node, you help support the Gala Games ecosystem. And as a reward, you get paid out a distribution of Gala with all the other uh, node uh, license holders. And I bought my nodes for about uh, $3,300 each. Each node is now worth uh, just about almost $8,500. And um, when all the grand, when all the founder nodes are sold out, they, we will then be able to sell those as NFTs. Actually, just saw this new information that was posted by um, uh, Bitbender, who's part of the official Gala Games team. He said that the uh, nodes will be transferable NFTs, so you can sell your nodes when they sell out. So if that's a year from now, who knows how long it might be. I think it might be a year until all those nodes sell out. Who knows, might be longer. Um, uh, but when they finally sell out, then we will be able to transfer those nodes as NFTs. Um, so uh, right now, I, I, the, the price of Gala keeps changing. It was up around uh, 0 0.03, it was around 3 cents, and then it was around uh, 2.2 uh, cent, uh, 2 cents. So, um, so the price of gold has been fluctuating, uh, but uh, you know, for a while I was making close to $150 uh, uh, with all my Gala notes combined. It was about $30 uh, per Gala node, uh, my, my notes plus my referrals. Um, so, um, so the other big thing is uh, Gala Games' Tower Defense is going to be dropping its NFTs very soon. If you go to the Gala Games website, you can see that uh, Fortified now has uh, its um, little page here. There are no NFTs yet. However, uh, the first uh, Arrow Tower NFTs just dropped to the node owner. So if you owned a node, you then got an Arrow Tower level two. Um, we're not exactly sure um, how this works yet. Uh, not a lot of information has been announced about the game, but they said that the NFTs for this game, including lands, are coming soon. And apparently, what they're going to do is uh, they've said that the lands are tied to like a multi a uh, multiplayer mode in uh, Fortified, some, some kind of PvP multiplayer integration when it comes to the lands. Um, so that's pretty cool and exciting. We'll, we'll have to see how that works. So here is a, another big announcement. Uh, there is a space game. It's called the 4X, which basically means for like, um, I forget what it means exactly, but it basically means you can do lots of things in space. You can trade, you can kill, you can own things. This big space opera universe where you can do anything. Um, so I have to blur out this image because they said that uh, the images are a Gala Gold exclusive. If you want to see these images, you will, uh, and it's not released yet, you will have to go to uh, the Gala Games website, uh, buy Gala Gold as a member, go onto the Discord, and then tell a moderator that uh, you uh, have a Gala Gold and, and give them a screenshot of the gold on your account, and then they will give you Gala Gold and you will get these sneak peeks as well. Um, so you're able to see the screenshot of this space game. But basically it looks a lot like EVE Online or something like that. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, yeah, I mean, it, it really looks a lot like EVE Online just from the screenshot. You know, it's spaceships, it's space station, a planet. Um, so I'm super excited. Uh, I don't know... Um, I don't know it, what the multiplayer is going to be like if it has multiplayer. Um, it does says four, you know, four X, and there are not many four X space games. I think that's starting to cause a whole lot of hype around itself. And uh, looking forward to more information. So the Gala Fund Hackathon, uh, uh, the uh, essentially the uh, the people were chosen uh, who uh, they're not the winners of the hackathon, but um, people we will be able to vote on the winner of the hackathon. I don't think they've announced yet whether that's going to be a vote made in Discord or a vote made by the node owners. I think most people were saying they wanted to have it voted on by uh, the Discord members. So we will have to see. Uh, we actually submitted our five versus five MOBA to be, uh, you know, to be considered. Um, 
And uh, what we noticed at the top of the hackathon posting was they said that um, they chose the games that were the most original. So we were not picked. And I think that's probably because they thought our idea was not the most original of all the ones that they got. Instead, these these other games uh, appeared to have more original um, things about them. Ironically, after we submitted to the hackathon, we actually had our most uh, original ideas about our game. So um, we're, we're going to be excited to be announcing that as we announce more information about um, uh, some exciting news that we have. And, uh, and included in that is going to be some of that original coolness that it, our game is also going to include. So Gala Games has also announced a partnership with Pack Protocol. I think they have nodes kind of similar to theirs. Something about, uh, I don't exactly know, I haven't researched it a whole lot yet, but something to do with transactions and Pack Protocol also has their own nodes that I think pay out about monthly. Um, and uh, and I don't really have a lot of information about that. Uh, Gala Games also uh, said that they uh, are now sponsoring Mazer Gaming, uh, so that's, that's really cool. As well as there was a big Wall Street Journal article about NFTs and it had the uh, Mirandis, uh, uh, one of the Mirandis image, images featured, I think it was also on the front page of the newspaper. And uh, so Engine is mentioned in this as, as, as well as Mirandis and, and their, their major, you know, $800,000 and $1.6 million sales of the Citadels. So, I mean, there's just been a lot of really cool, awesome things happening with Gala Games. All right, so engine news. Yes, uh, engine hit $2. I said in a previous video that I did not think engine was ever going to see $2 ever again. I was wrong. Uh, it did hit $2, and when it hit $2, I bought a whole lot of it. <laughs> so, um, uh, so, uh, so it's been a really wild and crazy month in the market. If you've been paying attention to the stock market, uh, it dipped. It got hugely volatile. It started to go back up again, and then it dipped again. Uh, I, I like to watch Meet Kevin videos when it comes to the stock market, and he loves to play this clip that goes, the house of pain, and just like all week, he's just playing the clip, the house of pain, as everything just keeps dropping and dropping. Um, I actually got out of the stock market um, in January because I thought I saw that the writing is on the wall, that gaming coins are the next big thing, NFTs are the next big thing. So I moved everything out of the stock market and I put it into crypto, specifically into gaming coins and gaming NFTs. NFTs. So that is my specialty. That's that's what I know about. I mean, obviously, I'm building a company based on that. So um, so I feel like you know this space is is going to be massive over the next two years, and it's the place to put my money. And while I was watching the stock market crash, and I felt pretty validated, I was like, hey, I'm glad I didn't have my money in some of these tech stocks that I love because now some of them are down almost 100. percent It's crazy. Um, so uh, so I mean, if you've been here in uh, in the gaming coins, if you've been in like Engine and the NFTs and Gala Games, uh, you've probably done very well over the last couple of months. Um, and if not, well, then this is a great chance for you to learn a little bit more about uh, what's happening with these gaming coins while they're why they're why they're big. Um, so to go on with Engine. They were also just listed on the Gemini Exchange. This just happened, so you can now uh, buy engine coin on the Gemini, Gemini exchange. I'm sure like this is going to show up probably in Coinbase just like any minute now. I, it's, I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet that the engine is not listed on Coinbase yet. Um, um, so the other big piece of news is that Game Talk Talk is uh, now in uh, now in a partnership with Engine. I don't know all the details about this, but Game Talk Talk uh, apparently is a pretty popular, um, I, um, I believe South Korean uh, application uh, for, for NFTs, at like, a, like a marketplace or something. I, I actually want to download it and use it myself and check it out. Um, but I think this could be potentially huge news. Um, I, I do want to make a video about this later, um, uh, just not right this moment. So Crypto.com is going to have a supercharger with Engine. So I've been looking into this a little bit. I don't have all the information yet, trying to run my company as a CEO while I while I fill my head with all this stuff and give it back to you guys. Um, but uh, but what I, from understand with the with the uh, crypto.com it's 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 like staking I, I think you you take like some of the crow crypto you stake it and you earn some engine coin in a supercharger event so I, I really like what I'm starting to hear about crypto.com. Apparently they keep holding these staking events where you earn more crypto on your staking and it's it's a, like a huge 
promotional push. I think it's, it's going to make them hugely popular. I don't really hear of any other exchanges doing this kind of thing. I think the only downside is apparently you have to use an app. You have to use your iPhone or Android to use it. I, I can't seem to find, you know, a, a crypto.com actual, you know, I can't use it on my laptop. It doesn't appear. I have to actually use the app. So I downloaded the app. I registered. I have to finish, um, uh, you know, I have to finish my, my registration. Uh, but, I, but I'm looking forward to getting started with crypto.com soon. And in this supercharger, you can, I, I believe you can stake your Crow uh, cryptocurrency and get ENJ uh, as a return. I think they said it's almost um, $2 million in ENJ is, is what's going to be staked that you'll get back in, in part of this uh, staking super charger event. Um, so I think that's that's pretty big and, and possibly why engine coin is back on the rise again from $2 uh, back up to 2.28. Um, the highest that we saw before this uh, after the dip was 2.45, uh, which I think is pretty healthy. I think uh, engine is showing a lot of resiliency right now. So jump net is incoming. I, I think like jump net could really change the game. There are not many uh, things as big as engine that also have their own compartmentalized exchange that is basically free of fees. So when JumpNet launches and things start migrating it to it, uh, you may not have to pay fees for any kind of transfers. That could be massive, that could be massive, massive. I think that could be the thing that just drives engine up to four to five dollars within the next two or three months. So we will have to see, um, anything could happen, their jump net might not work, who knows, uh, but I, I see this jump net being a huge catalyst. I believe that there are just so many catalysts coming for gaming coins, for gaming NFTs, uh, you know, this, this is going to be the year of the gaming coins. I think it really is. And, and, you know, last couple of years have been like the year of the, uh, electric vehicles. Um, but I think this is the year of the gaming coins when all the other investors will look back and be like, man, I wish I'd known to invest in gaming coins <laughs> back in 2021. Like I didn't know, right. I think there are going to be a lot of people who are saying that and having, uh, uh, you know, having missed out um, a year or two from now from, from not actually being in these NFTs and in these coins and not all the NFTs. I don't believe all these NFTs are going to have value, but I personally like the use case ones, like the, the engine gaming NFTs, the Gala Games, uh, you know, gaming NFTs. I like those a lot as a store of value and uh, and for profit. So uh, here's something that I really wanted to look more into. I'm going to share the information I have with you about Alien Worlds. Uh, I wish I had more, but I do want to put this on your radar. I've had to do a lot of CEO stuff um, the last uh, couple of weeks uh, to, you know, to, to keep pushing the business forward with momentum. But Alien Worlds is super interesting and I want to tell you why. So I was watching uh, a YouTube channel called Blockchain Gaming News and they uh, and he was showing that the Alien Worlds was at the uh, top of one of the most played blockchain gaming games. And I was like, what? Like, I I mean, I've heard of Alien Worlds come up a couple places of Discord, but how did it get to like the top of the charts? So I went and I investigated it. And, um, and what I've noticed is that with Alien Worlds, um, it's a very simple game right now. There's really not much you can do, uh, but uh, it's a very low barrier to entry. You can just go ahead and make a Wax account and then uh, log into the game and it will pretty much easily set you up with a, a piece of land that you can mine and you click this mine button and then you can mine it and then it's going to go through this mining process and in a couple of minutes it'll get me back um, what I've been mining. Trillium, which is its uh, essentially its token. So the really cool thing about Alien Worlds is that you can earn their token which can be traded on uh, an exchange and there's virtually no barrier to entry. All you need is a Wax account and to log into the game, um, so you don't need to pay anything. Um, so I think there are pros and cons to this, but I find it really super interesting. Okay, now I can claim my uh, claim my stuff. So I earned 0.1 trillion for my efforts, which is basically just clicking a button and I can uh, attempt to mine ag again in another minute. So the really cool thing about uh, Alien Worlds is that you have options as to either you can go and you can mine. Um, obviously, you're not getting a whole lot of Trillium if, you, uh, if you're just clicking the mine button, but you can buy equipment uh, you can, uh, on, uh, on the secondary market, on, uh, on atomic uh, assets. So here's the land that I was mining. 
And this is actually, I think, not a great land, so I'd probably want to change it because they're much better lands. Uh, they can give you like two and, and, and uh, essentially uh, more things, uh, more better luck. Um, and But you can equip these items and tools that actually increase the amount of that you can mine. So if you want to get serious about this game, you'd probably want to go on Atomic Assets, uh, the website, and uh, probably buy some tools, or you might want to buy some land. So the way that the land works is that you can earn 20% of what people earn from your land, you can actually set this. So maybe it's 19%. You know that inc that in in um, that uh, incentivizes people to use your land more often than say other people's land. Uh, so if you're someone who owns land, you will get a percentage of what other people are mining from your land. And so um, and so the game's still super new. There's not not a lot of people out there, but um. Uh, the cr crazy thing is, I was looking at the uh, I was looking at this game, right around the twenty second, twenty third. I I checked out uh, Blockchain Gaming News and I saw his information and I was like, okay, I should go check out this token. It is on sale uh, on Alcor, uh, Wax dot Alcor dot Exchange. I think you need Wax in order to get this, the Wax token. But um, apparently uh, this is what the price chart looks like. It um. I think uh, maybe it's high was um, almost uh, uh, almost eight cents. And uh, since then, uh, it had a crash when the market crashed back down to one cents. And uh, and man, I was just doing some CO stuff and I wanted to, to, to buy some of this, but I just couldn't find the time uh, to, to kind of uh, really buy things and in, involved with Alien Worlds. But um, but this is when I started looking at it, and since then uh, it's about doubled in price. Um, so it's super interesting to see this just double in a matter of a couple of days. Um, uh, if you're set up to uh, use Wax already, you might want to look into this. Uh, if you're not yet set up to use the Wax token, uh, you might want to start getting involved with Wax if you're serious about gaming coins. So we want to go into the land only here. I have the uh, lowest lands price to the um, uh, to the highest lands, and uh, I guess the lowest land right now is eleven hundred dollars. And uh, so if you were to buy this piece of land, you could set a, a percentage that you earn based on what other people are mining from your land. So it might be, uh, so uh, it would be anywhere between, you know, 20% trillion, I think is the maximum that you can set it. So uh, I think, so what I like about this game is that you can own land, you can earn a percentage of what people mine from your land. You can also go and mine land and you can upgrade your inventory to, to increase the amount that you can mine. And the uh, Trillium that you own is actually a token that you can trade on exchanges uh, in exchange for wax. So I think that potentially creates a whole lot of um, uh, a whole lot of opportunity here uh, to be honest with you I don't like the interface uh, there's there's a there are things I don't like number one the interface um, number two is a business uh, I mean just as a business investment if I were to go and buy the land um, you know Americans are the biggest consumers uh, you know next to other people who are in the top 10 GDPs so a lot of the people like me Americans who come in and we put money into this we really end up becoming the ones who stake the most amount of value into it but because anybody can come and mine this means that you know someone who lives in a small village in Africa not knocking a small village in Africa but their uh, cost of living is way super low so if someone who uh, you know if someone in a, in a small country is able to just start mining these things um, and uh, and you know maybe it's good for them because it helps them uh, you know, buy, you know, buy, you know, pay some rent or, or buy some groceries or something in a small village with, with a, you know, with a low amount of income. Uh, but, uh, but I think when people get involved with this and they start to invest in it, they have to realize that um, when you spend about $1,100 on something, uh, and Gala Games is kind of similar to this, to be honest, that um, you're actually spreading your wealth with the global economy. Um, this is one of the reasons I love what Blockchain, King Blockchain Kingdoms is doing, is because we have a system that's going to cater both to certain GDPs and it's also going to be uh, there's going to be a global uh, NFT trading system so we kind of have the best of both worlds if you go to alienworlds.io you will get to the main website and there's a little bit more information here uh, you can actually look at the active miners um, in the last uh, couple of days you can see here that it looks like at uh, a peak um, there's about 6,000 
miners to 7,000 miners at a time. And there's, I think, about 3,000 possible lands. So that's only about two miners per land. So you can kind of look at that as either... Uh, you know, as uh, either this is super early or low activity. I would probably go on the side of that it means uh, it's really early. And uh, as time will go on, these numbers will probably shoot up. I mean, once once like, you know, the, the Chinese gold farmers realize that they can set up computers, basically, um, you know, robots uh, or, or macros to keep clicking that mine button to farm and over and over and over again, uh, then uh, they will probably set that up. Um, I think the, the, the macro bot miners probably have not found this yet, but when they do, uh, this might jump up into like the tens of thousands very quickly. And if you own lands, that might actually be a pretty good for you. Um, and I, I think all this Trillium is eventually going to be used to like upgrade stuff as the game gets bigger and adds more features. Um, you know, I think it has a lot of potential. I am hesitant. Uh, Another thing that makes me hesitant, here was some news here that Alien Worlds raises over $2 million to bring NFTs to life. They raised over uh, $2 million in a sell of its utility token of Trillium. So uh, I'm sure they're having a white paper what their distribution is for the token pool. Um, but I don't know what it is. And because I don't know what it is right now, it just also kind of adds to my hesitancy. Maybe I will research this more and get more confident in, uh, in my knowledge once I know kind of what their plan is uh, with the uh, with the token and the token pool where are all these tokens going how much is in the games and um, you know whether or not it's going to be a value and and whether or not they're going to continue to keep creating uh, ways to, to create demand for the Trillium token then maybe I might be interested in like buying some land uh, I'm definitely the kind of guy who would rather buy some land um, and kind of let that money generate well, they let that generate money for me rather than clicking on that uh, mine button over and over and over again. Uh, you know, you can set it up so that uh, you can mine more, but between longer charge times, so I have a charge time of like three hours and, and mine every three hours, but do it more often. Um, and you could probably even set up a macro to do it. I feel kind of dirty doing a macro though, right? And, uh, you know, if you have to do a macro <laughs> in order to earn in a video game, I think something is kind of wrong. Um, so, uh, but, but that, you know, I still think this has a lot of really cool potential, which is why I'm talking about it. Um, so, uh, so I'm kind of hesitant to get involved with this right now, mostly because I think E and J is going to pump soon. I want to hold, uh, engine token. Um, I, I'm kind of interested in this land, uh, but because of the interface, um, yeah, my marks against it are the interface um, that uh, I'm not sure yet how much you can earn. Um, also, the lands that I really wanted to buy, um, they were sold out by the time I got to the site because I was doing CEO stuff, and I was like, oh, I want to buy those lands. Go do CEO things, come back. The, the things I wanted are sold out, like damn, missed it. So um, so I think I'm gonna put a hold on getting on involved with this just for the moment. Um, I have a lot of stuff I need to do. Um, but if you're someone who's interested in blockchain gaming and uh, this really just might be something uh, for you to look at, um, I actually do like this personally better than say something like uh, uh, Axie Infinities. Um, number one, just because I think this game's earlier. Um, so I think this is still kind of undiscovered and probably has more runway and uh, more more room to grow. Um, the thing is, Axie Infinity is just not my... I'm not into the whole cutesy thing. I'm, I'm more into, uh, you know, some hardcore sci-fi thing like this. This is more my jam. Um, uh, but uh, so I just wanted to kind of put this on, on your radar, kind of tell you a little bit of what I think about it, and, um, and uh, you might want to check it out as well. Um, if we just wanted to look at the price of the Trillium, so I have so far just maybe, I've mined maybe a total of 10 times so far, and that's earned me about 1.2 Trillium, uh, which is about uh, 4 cents right now. Um, so uh, for me, it's not worth it to, to probably keep mining uh, this, um, but I don't know. If, I mean, if it keeps going up, well, then it's great. But again, uh, you know, the, the Trillium is being created at the moment. It does have a max cap. Um, I think that's all I'm going to say about this game right now. I hope you found it useful. So there are so many investment opportunities in 
the market right now. So um, I thought I would discuss a little bit and share what I am doing uh, with my investments. So what I did was uh, I started to sell the uh, lost relic, uh, the top re lost relic items I had. So I, I sold a lot of my, um, uh, my, my, my relic items, essentially the ones that give me health regen because uh, they were worth the most. They were easiest to liquidate. And uh, I knew I wanted to put it into ENJ as I saw ENJ was dropping. And uh, so as CNJ was dropping, um, I went and uh, and took that money that I put into Lost Relic Items and, and put it back into ENJ again. Um, I think I, I probably came out just about even in terms of my profitability. Um, but I, I but again, I'm a CEO. I do um, when I get involved with these things. Sometimes a lot of it for me is just the uh, the information, the research that I'm doing to see what other blockchain games and games are doing. I've actually started to make a lot of profits from investing in other blockchain gaming coins. Um, um, and and uh, NFTs uh, and uh, and now as you know as my money bags start to grow a little bit I uh, you know I, I really am finding looking at these more for like uh, research researching um, um, so so t keep that in mind when you listen to me talk I'm always looking at at things from a research perspective. I want to know why am I invest in it? Why might other people invest in it? Um, is this going to grow the, the video game income economy? Um, you know, is, is it good for me? Who's it good for? Like, I'm really interested in uh, all of these things. I look at it from a gamer perspective and also me as someone who owns a blockchain gaming company. I want to, uh, I need to research everything that I can in order to make our company better. So, um, uh, so, uh, so I'm holding just a lot of ENJ right now. I've looked at other opportunities in the markets. There are stocks that I love that are about half the price that they were in February. And I thought a couple of times, you know, do I want to invest in Sensionics again? Do I want to invest in Nano Dimensions? Do I want to invest? in NEO uh, or uh, or an AI company um, or, or, or Pacific, uh, you know, Pacific Biosciences um, or CRISPR. So, um, I mean, almost all of these companies are about half off right now from where they were in February. And a lot of the money is cycling back into value stocks like Disney and, and uh, you know, all these other uh, companies are probably going to recover with the with the pandemic. And, uh, but I think t this year is going to be the year of the gaming coins. So I, I have, I'm staying with engine. Um, part of my philosophy is I would love to kind of start to spread my money around and other things, but I kind of need to be really focused right now. Uh, the only people running my company right now are me, myself and Josh. We're the partners of the company. We have a co-founder, uh, Night Sky, uh, in our, his name is Night Sky in our discord. And, uh, that is a uh, Mark Castillo. Um, so it's just the three of us and, uh, you know, the three of us can only do so much, continue building the company and we are growing very quickly, um, very quickly for me from going from one to three and, and beyond. I mean, technically we're, we're much bigger than that, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. So, um, so that's what I'm, so that's what I'm doing. I'm holding a whole lot of ENJ right now. Um, I'm also, I also have my Gala nodes. I have a bunch of my Gala NFTs. Um, I have about 46 Mirandis buildings. Some of those are bigger than others. Many of them are, are stands. Um, I would say probably less than half of them are stands. Um, I still have my Grand Forge, uh, which is, uh, which is basically, I think going to be like the, you know, I want to hold on to that because I love the idea of having a Grand Forge in Mirandis, massive multiplayer RPG. And, um, and so, but I think the catalyst for all of these gaming coins and NFTs are really just beginning right now. All the side chain technologies are coming out this year. I think what we're gonna see in this space is gonna appear like a miracle, like I really do. Um, and by the time our technology starts mature within the next year or two, our personal technology from blockchain kingdoms, I think it's really gonna blow people away what we've discovered that we can do um, to turn video gaming into average income. All right, so that is what I have to share with you. Again, uh, we have a WeFunder uh, coming. You can invest and be the first to uh, invest in blockchain kingdoms and and own a piece of our company and uh, and earn equity uh, in our company. Uh, when we eventually uh, convert into uh, stock, which we do want to uh, have a, we do want to go public as soon as possible. It's a little too early to really discuss going public, but um, but it but it is a priority of ours uh, in the next couple of years at the least. Um, so uh, we will have uh, ask me anything about blockchain kingdoms and our upcoming video game that we're creating and our technologies uh, Saturday, April 10th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. 
I am so excited to keep sharing all the stuff that is happening. Uh, things are happening faster than it seems I can even keep up with. Uh, but we are very focused on our goal. And you know what all is by now, right? Passive income and paid work. Um, and so uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you uh, want to get started with Gala Games, can use my referral link at the bottom of this video. Uh, join our Discord. And if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.